On this segment of Sportsman TV, Captain Charlie Thomason will be fishing double rigs for trout. Double rigs can be extremely productive by offering fish two baits at a time and triggering an instinctive bite. Follow along as Captain Charlie breaks down double rigs in this coastal fishing concept. Oh, there he is. Woo, woo, woo. Hey everybody, now we're getting into the time where I really like to fish double rigs. It's an old style of fishing and kind of a new style. And man, let me tell you, it can be extremely productive offering these fish two baits at one time, triggering an instinctive bite which will make you a more successful angler on the water. Wait until you see what these do. Awesome little trout. All right, nice one. Now, I'll tell y'all, the reason why double rigs work so well is because it offers the fish something very similar to what they have in the water. We got fish right now ganging up on these high current points, and what they're doing is they're holding there ambushing. Normally, they're just going around out in the open water and feeding on shrimp or whatever's coming through at the time. But really, right now, there's a lot of bait getting moved with that tide. And because that's happening, we're actually giving them something that looks natural, like a big school of shrimp coming through. It triggers an instinctive bite. And I'll tell you right now, unbelievable fishing and very productive. I mean, limits really quick and it gives you time that if you have kids, two at a time, they'll never forget it. Okay, everybody, now what I'm doing is, everybody wants to know always, like, how do I know where to find a spot like this? I'm gonna tell you, one of the things that I love to do that when the fish are really striking on, on bait that's coming through, mullet, shrimp, anything like that, you wanna hit a falling tide. Falling tides are key. And then what you wanna do is you wanna have like a bayou on one side, comes up onto a flat, goes through the flat, and then goes out another bayou. And that flat right there, what happens is those bait fish transition on that flat, trying to stay off of it. But the thing is, is that that current coming through, it doesn't allow them to get into the deep water yet because it's really strong tides. So when that strong tide starts happening, this bait gets pushed along these banks, oyster shells on the bottom, and guess what? A recipe, there he is, a recipe for awesome fishing and hopefully two at a time. Let's see what we got here. We got a nice one here. It's either nice one or it's two. No, it's a nice one. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask, you know, hey, Captain Charlie, I see you fishing with a sparkle beetle, and then I have a Matrix lemon head on here. Why am I using this style bait on the back and then a beetle on the front? I'm going to tell you. The reason why is because I need something to slow this bait down for me. So the resistance of this bait allows the, water, the bait to go through the water. My double rig, my, sh um, my sparkle beetle will stay up a little higher. This will give me the resistance and the vibration to attract the fish. Once one of them hits this, normally the front one is the one that you get the second one on. This time, we got just the first one on, but I think I had two on. They keep getting off on me, but this is a nice one. Nice about 14, 15 inch trout. Take them all day. All right, now there is, you know, a little bit of a technique to this. I got my double rig on. What I'm doing is I got current rolling across this point. This point has like a little gully in it, and that just takes experience. You got to take some time to go out and learn this. But what I'm doing is I'm throwing right on the other side of the point. The current's going this way. It's allowing me to keep my rod tip low. Oh man, he just hit me. My rod tip low, and I'm just slowly retrieving, and that allows that back minnow style bait to keep the actual double rig off the bottom and just swimming along. Once the fish see that, they'll come up and hit it and then normally you can get two if you kind of slow it down and let them have it. I will give a little bit of a twitch or, or a jerk every once in a while just to allow the bait to look a little bit natural like something's trying to get it. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. 
The Blue Ice Pack's part of the Chill and Brew series. Now this may be one of the most popular ones because everyone likes a cold beer. If you're heading out to a tailgate and you need to pack up two cases of beer, this is gonna keep it cold all day or until they're gone. And this works great on the boat. If you're gonna go out and have a day where you need to pack a lot of drinks, this is really what's gonna keep it right at that above freezing temperature. The Chill and Brew series is also good for keeping ice extended. If you wanna put this in with your regular ice, it'll keep it cold longer. So these are good for drinks, waters, sodas, and beer. Shell employs and their families enjoying our Louisiana sportsman's paradise. Louisiana is where we live, and we're proud to call it home. Shell is the rhythm of Louisiana. It's that time of year, CCA Star Tournament time. We might have a star winner, folks. Don't miss your chance for more categories, more prizes, and more smiles. Young and old, there's a division for everyone. You can win a truck, RV, boat, and much more. Sign up today for a chance to become an early bird winner. The fun starts Memorial Day weekend. Visit CCA Star to get your ticket today. All right, there's one right there. <laughs> now, one thing that I'm gonna tell you is, is that I like to do is when I'm fishing double rigs, I know I'm mostly fishing for speckled trout. So what I do is I usually go down a little bit on my rod and reel combination. I have this 13 Fishing TX series. It's a prototype, they call it. And what it is, this is a 3000 series reel. It's really small, easy to palm. The reason for that is you're doing a lot of casting, a lot of retrieving. The other thing is, is I go to a medium action rod. And the reason why that is, is I want that rod to be able to give a whole bunch when I hook up two of them, because they're going to be fighting different ways and really pulling, and I don't want to lose them. So that's why I do it that way. Another nice little speckle trout right here. Now they're hitting on the back of the double rig, which normally I catch them a lot on the front and then I catch them on the back. So it's telling me right now, hey, this color, this chartreuse style matrix is really doing it for me. I'm gonna keep that glow on just in case, but probably if I went to double these, I'd catch a double. I might even do it just for fun. Awesome fish. All right, everybody. Double rigs, you can buy them pre-made. You can buy them from going to Academy or anywhere to get a pre-made double rig. I'd rather do it myself. I wanna know that I can get the length of my line correct. Plus, I wanna have the ability if I wanna put three eight ounce jig head, half ounce jig head, quarter ounce, or even eighth or sixteenth ounce jig heads to change up the depth and variation of where my bait's gonna locate. Today, we had two quarter ounce jig heads. We put Two different style plastics on there. We have the uh, Matrix, and we just got a regular H&H Sparkle Beetle. I like the glow with the little orange tail. Now, one of the things I do, neat little trick, use a koozie around your, your spool of line so it keeps it from untangling everywhere. But what I always do is I do about 30 inches of line. I just take it, take that line, I'll cut it, and then I have both ends right here. I won't double it up. I'll take it, double it over, and then actually just go, okay, I'm gonna move back about one third of the way back. So that's about like this. So I have it, I'll take it, I tie a knot at the top, just an overhand knot. And the reason for that is, that is where I'm gonna tie my line back to my pole. Then off of that, you see one line shorter, the other one's longer. You would take these quarter ounce jig heads, tie each one on the tag ends of these, and you have your double rig right there. Quick and easy, simple as ever, and the number one trick with all of this is, you have to use 30 pound line. If you use anything lower or bigger than that, I have always found, through all the years of my fishing, the 30 pound test, in our water here, the salinity up along the northern Gulf Coast, the, the baits will sink just right. 40 pound, it goes too high. If I go to 20 pound, they stay too deep. I'm telling you, I know as crazy as it sounds, 30 pound is what you need. So just go get you a spool of Berkeley Big Game 30 pound, make you a few of these leaders, wrap them up around something, and get ready to go out there and catch fish just like we're doing. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think it's a good one. Well, y'all, I hope you try this concept because I'm gonna tell you, 
not only does it produce a lot of fish, it produces good fish, and it's just one awesome way and fun way to fish. Let's check him out. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell y'all, if you don't get out and fish double rigs, there must be something wrong with you. That's all I can say. Wow, what a yellow mouth, and we'll see y'all next time. Man, it's so awesome.